How many of y'all realize, I mean, I would hope that everybody knows this, but I said this the other day and somebody looked at me like a dog that had been shown a card trick. Y'all do know Genion doesn't exist, right? Genion's yeah. gone. So, you know, that was, that the panel that you actually, if you look the panel up on YouTube, it was the first time for me to speak on the subject after Genion closed, or Genion USA closed. Um, and that's why it was such a somber panel, and I think that's one of the reasons, you know, Crispin was there. You know, that greatly affects Crispin Freeman. Um, but Crispin Freeman, those of y'all that know him, is a fan. And he had done a lot of really interesting research. And, and I encourage you to watch the video he shot because, uh, not Crispin, this, this man right here. Uh, Crispin's in the audience. Uh, I encourage you to watch it because Crispin adds a lot of really good information to the, to the pot too. But um, there is an interest in this, not just on the American side of the industry, um, there's a site called the Active Anime, Rommel site. Active Anime. ActiveAnime.com. Uh, when I spoke on this subject in Houston, Shinichi Watanabe wanted to speak on the subject and was very nervous because he had never spoken out on it. But here you had a Japanese creator, a director, basically coming into a room full of people and begging them not to steal. Please don't steal my product. Please don't you know, steal what I work so hard to do. And believe it or not, people crucified him online for it. People were like, well, screw Watanabe. You can go to my MySpace and read some of the ignorant comments that were left. I put a link to it. And the reason I took it to my MySpace was, you know, I really, my live journal is where it gets real stupid at times uh, because there are friends of mine that I was friends with before I was in the industry that are old anime fan friends. They're like, well, I still download it and have a right to. And some of the things they say is just moronic. Luckily, my friend Rick Dean lives in Japan now. And so every once in a while, he comes and just lays the smack down on him. He's like, uh, you're wrong. I do pay money to watch anime in Japan. Because the, 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 that was one of the things that came up, was it's free in Japan, and it's not free. Um, but yeah, I put the link to the Watanabe clips that, you know, Rommel was nice enough to host. And people were actually... There's a girl that I just got into it with, and you, if you watch what I do online, I really just put the information out there and back away. Because I have a hockey temper, and it's very likely I'll get in a screaming match with somebody about it. And the problem is, and, and I got attacked for this, because I, I, I reprinted something Zach said in uh, the Hey Answer Man column. I said that I, I basically called people that downloaded, not fans, but leeches. And, uh, and it, was a, it was a quote, like I actually quoted the whole thing, that it's like, you know, how can you call yourself a fan if by fan you mean I simply enjoy something and track it down and steal it, all the while becoming a part of a community that is dedicated to stealing that person's work and then turning my friends on to a new way of stealing. At that point, you're not a fan. You're adding a bunch of leeches to the system. It's like a dog with a belly full of fleas. And the funny thing is, this is probably the first and only time you hear me say this, but somebody got in my face about it and said, well, I think, you're, you're, I, I think it's awesome you have an opinion, but you forget fans put you where you are. I'll say this for the record. No, they didn't. I auditioned for shows and I got in shows. I don't owe anyone a compromise on my point of view just because they like the work I do. And it sounds so horrible. I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I don't say that to sound like I'm disrespectful to fans. Those of you that have hung out with me at cons know I love anime fans. But I'm not required to toe anyone's line. I have an MF opinion about everything. And this one is a very well-educated one. And I'm sorry if me calling you a leech hurts your feelings, then maybe you should stop sucking the blood out of the industry. But I am not going to bend, and I will even go down fighting, and I will not be on the ship when it sinks. But I will at least say I did everything I could while I could. I, this all was based on a conversation with a Japanese creator that I had. And I mentioned this subject, not knowing the pan of, like, the pan of worms, the can of worms I was about to unleash on myself. This was many years ago. And this man who was very quiet and very polite turned as red as your shirt. And look, he's looking behind him. You know, right? uh, and he started speaking fast and his pitch of his voice got higher. And 
it's the only time that I wished I spoke Japanese. Really, it's the only time. Because I'm so ADD, we hear it in Japanese in our ears, so that would kill me. But I was horrified that I couldn't keep up, and it was obvious this was something that was a big deal to him. I will say, when I see this person again, and I know our paths will cross again, the world is a pretty tiny place at times. Uh, when I see that person again, I will say, look, you know what? A lot of people heard what you had to say. In fact, because you said what you did to me, I learned even more than that. And I took it a step further. Um, 